Have you ever wondered how they test engine oil before it goes in your crankcase? Well, I just spent a day down at Valvoline's engine lab, and let me tell you, it was an eye-opener. While Valvoline's product development lab is located at their headquarters in Lexington, Kentucky, the engine lab is at a standalone facility two hours east in Ashland. I met with Tom Smith, Valvoline's Vice President of Lubricant Technology, and Adam Swarzy, Valvoline's Global Field Test Manager. Valvoline's kind of unique amongst oil companies in that we have our own engine test facility here in Ashland, Kentucky. At this facility, we're able to run specialized engine tests and standardized engine tests to obtain some of the approvals that you see on our labels. There are seven individual stands in the gasoline sequence test lab. The engines running in the lab on the day of our visit included a two-liter Ford EcoBoost, which was being tested for chain wear and intake valve deposits, a 3.6-liter Chrysler Pentastar V6, which was undergoing a high-temperature oxidation test, and a 3.6-liter GM V6, which was being tested for fuel economy improvement validation. Let's walk over to our metrology shop, where we'll take all of the engine components and do a final parts evaluation. The engines can run for days and days on the test stands. Once the runs are done, the engines are unbolted from their stands and disassembled to assess wear and conditions on the pistons, heads, and other components. So John, can you tell me a little bit more about the specific criteria you look at when these pistons come into the lab? When the engine first comes in, um, the first thing that I do is I, I look, at any, look for any abnormalities, um, something that, that just didn't seem right. And second of all, we'll, we'll look for uh, deposits. There's three different deposits that we look for. We have sludge deposits, carbon deposits, and varnish deposits. Here's some examples of sludge deposits in the tops of these heads and also on these uh, baffles. And in addition to that, uh, varnish. We'll notice some varnish deposits here on this skirt as well as carbon deposits on the, uh, on the ring lands and the, the crown land. There's some varnish deposits as well on the under crown. Johnny, I, I can see you have a couple of different pistons here. It, I'm not so much concerned about the difference in the design, but it looks like the deposit levels are quite a bit different. Can you tell the folks a little bit more about what you see when you evaluate these? Yeah, so what we're looking at here, we're looking at the piston bosses, and you're, you're obviously right. This is clearly has a lot more deposits than this one. This one's virtually clean. And what kind of deposits are these? These would be considered varnish deposits. Um, not only are we looking at the varnish deposits, but you can look here at carbon deposits on this uh, second land and you can compare that to these deposits. These are much lighter than these deposits. So you could say that these deposits are something you'd see in a bad reference oil or bad oil candidate, and this might be something from a good test. Absolutely. Okay, so we're evaluating the piston here. We have a template on top so that we can get a better idea of how much deposits we're looking at. Each one of these uh, areas is a 5% area, totaling to be 100%. So we're going to look at, in particular, this top groove here and evaluate how much deposit is actually in there. And this deposit is going to range from clean to varnish to carbon. So here we have our Motorsports Test Stell, installed a few years back to support our NASCAR racing team, capable of anything from 1,000 horsepower to 10,000 RPMs, a V8, all the way down to a turbocharged four-cylinder. And if you think this is cool, come check out our next project. Well, we're not working in the engine lab. We have some really cool projects ongoing as well. Take this Gen 1 Dodge truck that we've converted and made it into a desert race truck. So the coolest thing about this truck is the whole thing was designed and built by Valvoline employees with help from our Cummins partners. Kevin Figgett, one of our test engineers here at the lab, uh, is working to modify this to get it ready for the Mint 400 in Las Vegas. Kevin, you want to tell the folks a little bit about what we've been doing? Sure. This is a 5.9 Cummins, slightly souped up by our friends at Cummins. We think we're over, over 300 horsepower and we're talking 700 foot-pounds of torque. Done a whole lot of work on the front suspension, rear suspension, shocks, springs, all that. And uh, we're, right now we're just putting a little gas in one of the shocks, getting ready for the Mint 400. Are you looking forward to it? Oh yeah, this is going to be a blast. <laughs>